Welcome to this QuickBooks 2021 tutorial for beginners on how to create a credit memo. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. First things first, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, please share it. Also, please subscribe to the channel. The more subscribers I get, the more I can spread the word with uh, these videos, and I would appreciate that very much. Last thing, head over to the QuickBooks University. If you like this video, you're going to like a lot about the QuickBooks University. That website is qbuniversity.org, where I not only have a full QuickBooks training program in QuickBooks Desktop and online, I also answer your personal questions when you become a member. Okay. So let's get started. So we're going to take a scenario where you have a customer that needs a credit or a refund. It happens all the time. Okay. So, you know, you do some work, you do a job, whatever the case may be, you might sell them something um, and you have to give them a credit. They complain. Uh, maybe they say, Hey, we didn't get this. Maybe you didn't use all the material you build them for and you have to give them a credit. Okay. So there's two things in QuickBooks I want to go over with you here. So when you issue a credit, you can do one of two things. You can save it as a credit for that customer for a future invoice, or you can refund it to the customer. Okay. So it just depends. So if they're an ongoing customer, so for example, in my business as a CPA, my CPA firm, we have ongoing clients. And if we give a credit to somebody, we can apply it to the next invoice. Now, if this is a, a one-time customer, so you're, they're not a repeat customer, you can give them a refund. All right, so it's totally up to you. All right, so what we wanna do, we're here on the home screen in QuickBooks, and you're gonna see a little button here that says refunds and credits. So you have a client that calls you, a customer that calls you and says, hey, I need a credit on this uh, because something was damaged, whatever the case may be. All right, so you're gonna click this button. And just like with most things in QuickBooks, it's going to bring up the form. So the credit memo form looks like many other forms, looks like the invoice and, or a sales receipt. First thing you're going to do is you're going to choose the customer or job. So we're going to say that this Chris Baker garage repair, and we're going to pick the class. So we're going to say this is a, we'll say this is a remodel and the date, of course, you're going to fill in the date and the credit number. All right, now, just like you have an invoice number, you also have a credit number. So you can put in pretty much any number you want and, it, and QuickBooks will automatically create a sequential number for the next one you create. Now, customer should fill in automatically because you have this already filled out in the customer center. And if there is a PO associated with this, you can tie it to that PO. All right, now we're gonna go down to the item. So just like the item list you use for invoicing, you're going to choose the item that you are crediting back to them. So we want to hit the drop down menu and you're going to choose. Let's say that this was some cabinet poles that uh, you had too many. Maybe you build them for, let's say you build them for 100 and they only needed 80. So we're going to say there are 20 here and the price is not in here so we're going to say that each of these is two dollars and 38 cents so they're going to get a credit for 47 dollars and 60 cents now there is tax on this in this example so we're also going to get a credit on the sales tax so this should show up in your sales tax report as a credit so the total credit is going to be 51 dollars and 29 cents now if you look up here to the very top, before you save and close and all this, you have two options up here. You can say use credit to give a refund or use credit to apply to an invoice. So if I say use credit to apply to an invoice, it's just gonna basically keep track of this credit. So next time we bill Chris Baker, we can apply this credit to an invoice. It's very simple and I've got other videos on that process. Now, what I do want to show you is if you want to give a refund. Now, we want to go ahead and click this, and it's going to say issue a refund. It's due to Chris Baker, 5129. Refund check number to send, et cetera, et cetera. All right, we're going to say not an online payment, but to be printed. And it should have everything here. You want to make sure it says uh, it's a check, uh, it's a checking account. And if this was a refund via a credit card, of course, you can choose the credit card. All right, so let's just use a check in this example. We'll say, okay. 
and you'll see now the credit memo says refunded so that if you come back to this next time you can see okay hey I refunded this now to issue the check to Chris Baker you want to go up because we said to be printed you want to go to print forms and print checks and you we should see a check here for Chris Baker here it is right here $51.29 so there is the check. So we would print this check. We would send it. If you're paying them online, you can put online payment instead of to be printed and, uh, you know, send the check through online banking or whatever the case may be. So in this case, you would print the check, you'd send it off and the credit has been refunded. So I'm going to cancel this because I'm not going to save it. And uh, otherwise, that's about it. So when you issue a credit to a customer, you can refund it or you can apply it against a future invoice. If you have any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below. Uh, also, again, head over to the QuickBooks University. Lots of great stuff there. And uh, I help out a ton of members by answering their personal QuickBooks questions. That website again, qbuniversity.org.